Hi brothers and sisters, today I want to, <clears throat> to explain to you exactly how the heavens look like, uh, the earth, you know, the shape of the earth, because uh, most of the time we've been lied to and uh, when you listen to science, uh, you may not come to understand the truth. So we should look at the Bible because the Bible tells us one thing, let God be true and every man be a liar okay so this will be a very deep teaching i'm going to teach you exactly how the heavens look like how the earth look like and uh, that's according to the bible and let's see and let's see and let's compare uh is the world lying to us because uh, the bible tells us one thing and the world tells us one thing and what would be the reason why the world is telling us uh uh, the world looks a certain way and uh, the Bible tells us something different. Would they be wanting to justify evolution? Would that be the reason why they want to justify that? Now, the Bible tells us uh, there is something called the God's realm. The realm of the Most High God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, our Heavenly Father, is in the third heaven, okay? The third heaven. Now, you remember very well that Paul spoke of the third heaven in uh, 2 Corinthians two, uh, 12 verses 2, and as well uh, John the Apostle also in uh, Revelation 4, 2. Let's start with uh, Paul. What did he say? He said that he saw the third heaven, okay? I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such one was caught up unto the third heaven. So Paul is talking about he saw a third heaven. And of course we see the Bible calls this earth heaven because uh, the kingdom of heaven will be here on earth. So this earth is a heaven as well. So it means there is a second heaven up above somewhere and then there is a third heaven high up more. You know there are three kinds of heavens. And of course we see the same being spoken by John the Apostle, uh, John the Revelator in four, uh, Revelation 4.2. Let's see what it says. Revelation, Revelation uh, 4 verses 2. And uh, we are going to see so many Bible verses today so that we can be able to understand this. He says, and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. So there's an heaven above somewhere where john the revelator saw he saw a certain heaven high above not this heaven but another heaven and also god and his kingdom operate in the first and second heavens okay god his kingdom they operate in the first and the second heavens that's why we hear uh, you know the spiritual world we don't fight against body and flesh we fight uh, against principalities in the high places in the heavens above so god created the heavens and the earth and all beings and uh, as we see here written is that the first heaven <clears throat> the first heaven is uh, here in the in the in the in the way we are okay it starts from the earth all the way up to the cloud, some place where I'm going to show you. So let's just see what the Bible says in Genesis 1, 6 to 8. Genesis 1, 6 to 8. Genesis 1, uh, 6. Uh, yes, let's, let's just read this. 1, 6 to 8. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which are above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. So, I will be coming to the word firmament in just a bit. And of course, uh, the Bible talks about uh, the second heaven, which is you know, where the sun, moon, and stars are. You see, the world has confused everything with the fake education that they are giving, the fake high learning, higher learning which they are giving, it's trying to say that the world is a circle, the world is a sphere, and all those kind of things. But the Bible tells us something totally different. 
And I'm going to show you today how the world looks like. It doesn't look like they try to explain. I even, I even don't think any of those fellas who say they went to the moon, they even went to any moon. They're just a bunch of liars. They're a bunch of liars. Nobody went to the moon. Nobody went to the Mars. Even all the, uh, these guys were saying the other day that they went to the moon. All those are a bunch of lies. Because the truth is found in the Bible. And of course, about the second heaven, Genesis uh, 1, 14 to 18, it talks about all that one, uh, 14 to 18. It says, and God said, let there be light in the firmament. So there is a certain firmament, and inside those firmament is where we have the lights. Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for the light in the, and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So all this, the sun, the moon and the stars, they are inside the firmament. Now, let's look at this. This is exactly how the world looks like. The world is not a is fear, as they say, is not true. If you read the Bible very well, you're going to find out that the world looks like this, okay? We have the earth here, the earth here. We have the underworld, okay? We also have the firmament here. And inside the firmament is where we have the sun, the moon, the stars, and all that. And after the firmament, we have waters above and we have water below. And then we have the heaven, which is the realm of God. And then after that also, we can see that there is what we call the ends of the earth. After the earth here, which is at the middle, we have the ends of the earth. And that's why it explains very well, even when you hear the Bible says some things from the ends of the earth to the other sides. You know, uh, the, the four angels standing at the four corners of the earth. You'll wonder, four corners and we are being told the earth is a sphere? Now, let's start first things first, okay? First things first. Let's start with understanding about the firmament, okay? The firmament it's a, it's a, is a, what we call the space, okay? The outer space. This is the space, the inner space, and then we have the outer space, okay? This is where all the aircrafts and everything, they, 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 they pass through here, okay? This is the space, the inner space. And then we have the outer space, where you can't reach the outer space because there's a division which God set here. And no one can be able to cross here. So those who try to say, oh, we went to outer space and we did this and that, those are a bunch of liars, hypocrites. They are a bunch of liars. Now let me show you what the Bible says. Genesis 1, 6, 8, we just read there, but now let's go back there into details and see. Genesis 1, 6. And God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Okay? Firmament. Let it divide what? The waters below from the waters above. Very clearly well told. Okay? And let's continue. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which are under the firmament from the waters which are above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. Okay? This firmament was called the heavens. This is the heaven. The second heaven. Here. Here. In this place. This is the heaven. And this also, remember, is also the first heaven because this is where Christ will rule for a thousand years in the kingdom of heaven here. This is the first heaven. And inside this firmament is the second heaven. And of course, the, there is a third heaven which is the realm of God. Let's continue. God made the firmament and divided the waters which are under the firmament from the waters which are above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Okay, and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. So, I believe after God creating this firmament here, okay, creating this space here, after dividing the waters from the waters, he said, let the earth appear. 
And the earth came out of the waters and became a dry land here. Okay? Exactly what the Bible is saying here. Okay? God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. Go one side and another side. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters, he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. Mm -hmm. Look at this. He gathered waters on one side and on the other side. And he said, let the earth appear. And he called this one earth, the dry land. He called it the dry land, okay? And of course, if we continue in verse 14 to, to 19, it also explains the same. Let's, let's go there. Today I've told you we'll read a lot of verses. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Let there be lights and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now, where are these lights? They are in the firmament, in, in the firmament here. Inside this firmament, these lights, the stars, the moon, and the sun. So, for those bunch of liars who keep on saying that, you see, the sun is, uh, I don't know how many thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, uh, miles away. and f No, the sun and the moon, they're in the same place. And the stars also, they're in the same place inside the firmament. Don't listen to these scientists. Most of them are just liars. And they never even went anywhere. I will link below a video by this guy called uh, Shaking My Heads Production. I will link a video down. Just go and watch it. It's a three hours video confirming that nobody has ever left the earth. Nobody has ever left here. All those are just bunch of liars who say that we have left here and gone to another place. No, nothing. Nobody has ever left this. We live in a dome. Okay, we live in a dome like this. This is where God has situ let us be here. And that's when the Son of Man will come and crack here up and every eye will see because he will dim the sun and the moon and the stars. And he will, he will crack here and he will come down. Nobody has ever gone up because they could have gone into the waters and died and all those kind of things. Because I above here, there is water. I will link that video and please take your time. It's a three hour video. It will prove to you everything what the Bible says is true. And it will render every man a liar. Let's see. 14.9. It says, And God said, Let there be the lights and firement of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. This is the sun and the moon. And the greater light, the sun, to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. Where were they set? In the firmament of the heavens. To rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. These ones, the sun is inside the firmament here. And the moon is inside the firmament. And the stars also, they are inside the firmament. So don't be lied by these liars, hypocrites, who only want to uh, uh, say that the earth is round and there are, uh, I don't know how many planets and billions of, I don't know what, what they try to say, so that they can justify evolution. Evolution is a lie. It's a lie. Total lie. Now, see here. In the book of Job, Okay, talking about the firmament. The book of Job 37, 18. Let's go there and see what the Bible says. Job 37, 18. Job 37, verse 18. Okay, let's see what the Bible says. The Bible says, Has thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong and as, and as a molten looking glass? Has thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong, and there's a molten looking glass. See, the sky is a molten looking glass. This, there's a sky. You see, the sky of glass. The sky of glass is here up high, which was spread out by God himself. God did this by himself. Psalms 19.1. Psalms 
19 verses 1. See again for yourself. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. This firmament shows the handiwork of God. How could he have separated waters above and waters below and put a vacuum here, a vacuum to make sure that the, the waters stay high up? Uh, uh, high up. He put a vacuum here where the, you know, a firmament here. And he separated and here he, he put oxygen here and he put all those things here at the middle and he put us here. We are like grasshoppers to him when he looks at, at us here, here. And I will show you that verse. How could he have done this? The handiwork of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. Now that is about the firmament. Let me show you something else. Also, let's check. The waters above. Do you know above you are the skies? There is waters. We have the waters which are above us. Genesis 1, 7. We checked that, but let's go back. Genesis 1, verses 7. See, there is waters above us. And God made the firmament, divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. The waters above and the waters below. So here there is water. And of course, let's see Psalms 104 verse 3. Psalms 104 verses 3. Uh, verses 3. Let's see. There is waters above and down. Who lays the beams of his chambers in the waters? How could you lay your beam of your chambers in the waters? The chamber of God in the waters, meaning the waters are just slightly below the heavens. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who makes the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Come on, come on, look at this. The Bible is so true. Psalms 148.4 1, 48, 4. 148 verses 4. Psalms 148.4, it says, Psalms 148.4, it says, Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and the waters that are above the heavens, the waters which are above the heavens, this second heaven, the waters which are above, praise him, praise him. You see, you see the Bible is true and every man a liar. And every man a liar. Let's see also concerning the heaven. This heaven which is here. Let's see about it. Uh, I don't know if you have a... Yes, 148 we have seen. Let's see about the heaven. Let's see what the Bible says about this. Psalms 104, 2 to 3. Psalms 104 from verse 2. Okay. Let's see what the Bible says about the heavens. Who covers thyself? Who covers thyself with light as with garment? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain? Who lays the beams of his chambers in waters? Who makes the cloud his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? You cover yourself with light as with garment. Stretching out the heavens like a curtain. You see stretching out the heavens like a curtain. Do you know how you spread a curtain? God did this, he stretched out this, and he's high up here above the waters. And that's why in heaven we hear there is a sea of glass. The floor of the heaven will be a sea of glass, a sea, a sea of glass. My friends, this is so specific and so profound. Let's see what the Bible says in Deuteronomy 26, 15. Deuteronomy 26, 15. 26, 15. Deuteronomy. Look down from thy holy habitation, from heaven, and bless thy people Israel, and the land which thou hast given us, and thou swearest unto our fathers, a land that floweth milk and honey. Look down from thy holy habitation. So God is here looking down on his people. So it means God is above us. But science wants to teach us that the earth is round and, uh, you know, you can be on this side, you can be on this side, you can be below here. So when you look up and you're below here, what does it mean? You're looking at the underworld. 
you're thinking that God is in the underworld or God is at the sideways or on another side. No, God is not on those places. He's high above here and he's looking down upon us. Look down from thy holy habitation, from heaven, and bless thy people Israel, the land which thou hast given us, and swear it unto our fathers, a land that flows milk and honey. Nehemiah 9.6 Nehemiah 9 verses 6. See what the Bible says concerning the same. Thou, even thou, are Lord alone. Thou hast made the heavens, the heavens of the heaven. With all their hosts, the earth, and all things that are therein, and the seas, and all that is therein, and thou preserved them, and the host of heaven worship thee. You have made the heaven, the heaven of heavens. You see? The heavens, he's created the heavens and the other heaven, which has all these beings and the things which are therein. And also you have created the earth. So the Bible says there is this earth, there is the heaven, and there is the heaven of heavens. Are you seeing this one? How ex exactly is explained this? And you preserve them all. So all these are preserved. And the host of heaven worship thee. Oh my, this is so, so profound. Let's see something else. You see, the scientists of today, they say that the earth moves at a speed of, uh, you know, the earth moves at a speed of uh, 66,600 miles, uh, you know, kilometers per hour and things like that. And, and all those bunch of lies that they keep on telling you in school. Now, you have to see something <laughs> on what moves. Let's, let's see what moves. The sun moves, but not the earth. The sun moves, yes, but the earth is immovable. And I'm going to show you that. Let's first start with the sun. Ecclesiastes 1.5. Mm. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 5. What does it say? The sun also arises, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth unto the place where he arose. The sun rises, and it goes down, and rises again, and goes down. And you know, the sun is moving. The sun is moving, okay? Psalms 19, 6. 19, verse 6. See what the Bible says here. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and is circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. His going forth is from the end, one end of the heaven, and is circuit unto the end of it. It goes from one end to the other end, and there is nothing hid from the heat. There is nothing which you can hide from this heat of the sun. I heard uh, the gates of hell saying that uh, he wants to dim the sun. I wonder if he has read this verse, that there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. How do you want to dim the sun? <laughs> You're just trying to, you know, tell that God is a liar? No, God is not a liar. You're the liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. You see what the Bible is saying? The sun moving from one end to another end, and nothing is hid from the, he is hid from the heat of the sun. Let's see also what the Bible says. In, in a Joshua 10, 13. Joshua 10, 13. Okay. Joshua 10, 13. See. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jesha? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. Now, this is the time when... Uh, the children of Israel has just gotten to the promised land and they were fighting their enemies. And Joshua prayed, okay, he prayed that, uh, is it Joshua was praying? Yes, it's Joshua was praying that uh, the sun to be stopped. He prayed to God, please, God, I pray that the sun can stop until we finish fighting our enemies. Why did Joshua not pray that the, the earth stop? Why was he praying that the sun stopped? Because it's the sun which is moving. It's not the earth. 
And if it had stopped then and uh, the sun has stopped and the earth is moving, then uh, there could be no change or there could be confusion. But it's the sun which is moving. So it means God is true and every man a liar. God is true and every man a liar. Now let's see concerning uh, the earth. Is the earth moving? Is the earth moving as those speeds that they tell us in school? We all wasted school fees. It was just a waste of time. Watch this. Is the earth moving? No. The Bible says the earth is immovable where it's, it is. In First Corin uh, Chronicles 16.30, First uh, Chronicles 16 verses 30, exactly that. Yes, First Chronicles 16.30. Let's see what the Bible says here about this. First Chronicles 16.30. It says, fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable and it will not be moved. The earth is stable and it is not moved. It's not moved. Let God be true and every man a liar. The earth does not move. Psalms 93.1. Psalms 93 verses 1. Psalms 93, 1. It says, The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he has guarded himself. The world also is established. That it cannot be moved. The world cannot be moved. It is established. It is stable. It can be moved where it has been placed. It doesn't move at a thousands and uh, I don't know how many thousands of uh, speeds that they are trying to tell you. And all those bunch of lies in school. All those are just waste of time. You better go and ask for your school fees. It's lies that they teach you. It is the sun and the moon which are moving. But the earth is stable. It's immovable. It doesn't move anywhere. Psalms 104.5 Psalms uh, Psalms 104.5 Verses 5. Let's see what the Bible says about this. Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Who laid these foundations that they cannot, the earth cannot be moved by anything? It is in the waters, but it can be moved. Who laid those foundations? Think about it if the earth was moving. And it was moving at those speeds that they try to say was 66,600. Just, just look even at that 66,600 kilometers per hour. It just looks like, a, you know, that number. I won't mention it because you know it. Let me tell you, the earth is not moving. Think about it if it was moving at those speeds. What could happen? The oceans could have, you know, lost the water and uh, it could be flying. Water could be flying all over. And the trees will be, you know, getting uprooted because of those speeds that they're trying to tell us. But it's not true. It's not true. Let God be true and every man be a liar. Okay? Who laid those foundations? Who laid those foundations? That the earth cannot be moved anywhere. You see, the earth is not moving. Now, let's see. What is the shape? The shape, the shape of the earth. You see, they try to tell us that uh, the earth is a sphere. Sphere is, a, is something which is uh, all round. The circle of the earth, basically what it means, it means this curve that you're seeing. This curve that you're seeing. And also this curve that you're seeing. There's a curve here, a dome up. And also, you know, the shape. is a circle. This is what the Bible calls a circle. It's not a hundred percent you know, 360 is, uh, you know, a, 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 this kind of shape. I don't know how to explain. But the Bible tells us the circle of the earth. Isaiah 40, 22. Isaiah. Isaiah 40, verse 22. Let's see what the Bible tells us about this. Is it he that seated upon the circle of the earth? You see where God is sitting? Upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants therefore thereof are as grasshoppers that stretches out of the heavens as a curtain and spread it out, uh, uh, spread it them out as a tent to dwell in. You see, he sits here and he looks at us as grasshoppers down here, 
And there's something which is spread like a curtain here. The heaven is spread like a curtain here, eye above. The way you throw a curtain and you spread it. You see? Spreading them out as a tent to dwell in. As a tent. It's like a tent. You see how you spread a tent so that you can dwell in the tent. We are here in the tent. Those bunch of liars and those bunch of uh, scientists who are saying that uh, we have gotten out of, uh, out of space. Tell them, tell them to swear using a Bible and say that they went out of space and they lie to you. All those people, they don't know anything. And all that you're seeing is just graphic design. Graphic design and lies. Don't be lied by them. Let's see. Center of the earth. The earth has a center. Daniel 4.10 Daniel 4, 4, verse 10. See what the Bible says about this. Thus were the visions of mine had in my bed. I saw and behold a tree in the midst, at the middle of the earth, and the height thereof was great. And the tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, high above, and the side thereof unto the ends of all the earth. So at the middle there was a tree reaching up high and to the ends of the earth. And these people, they try to tell you that the earth has no end, is a, is a sphere. No, no, that's a lie. Now let's see about the stars, about the stars. The Bible tells us that the stars will be falling, you know, falling down to the earth. The moon will not fall, the sun will not fall. The sun and the moon will be dimmed, but they will not fall. But the stars will fall down at some point. Isaiah 34, and that's why you see, you know, met, met, metas and, uh, you know, this, uh, the stars which are falling. I don't know, I don't know the name to explain. But you he always hear about there are stars falling, stars falling. And they say they are falling from out of space. Out there in the thousands and thousands of kilometers. No, they are just falling from high above you. They are not really that far. <coughs> they are not really that far. Isaiah 34, 4, it says, Isaiah 30, 34 and verse 4, it says, And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. All the hosts of where? Of heaven. All these things will be dissolved. Okay? And the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. This heaven will be removed like a scroll. It will be rolled out, you know, rolled out, all this, like a scroll. And their host shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and the falling fig from the fig tree. So this will be rolled out one day. It will be rolled out. And these stars will fall down to the earth like figs from a, from a fig tree. Of course, we know the sun will be darkened and the moon. Uh, I don't know much about if also the sun and the moon will fall. But the Bible says the sun and the moon will be darkened. And these stars will fall to the earth and this firmament will be rolled out like a cloth. Alright? Let's see Matthew 24, 29. Matthew 24, 29. See what the Bible says here. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened. You see what I was telling you? The sun will be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. That day, after the tribulation, this is just when now the Son of Man, Jesus, is about to come. These stars will fall down, and the sun and the moon will be darkened. And this will be rolled out like a cloth, and the Son of Man will come from the heavens. Breaking down here and coming to the earth with a great glory. And let's see, this one is also confirmed in Revelation 6, 13. Revelation 6, 13. Revelation 6, verse 13. It's also confirmed very well. Okay. It says, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast the untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed it as, as a scroll when it's rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. 
and the kings of the earth and great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens in the rocks of the mountains and say to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face that of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of god for the great day of his wrath is come who shall be able to stand when the son of man will roll this firmament out like a cloth and the stars are falling down and the sun and the moon are darkened and he will come with great glory from up and all those rich men and merchants and kings and all those people will hide themselves in caves because the great day of the wrath of god has come and christ is about to come and judge this fallen world beautiful right now let's check concerning the ends of the earth you know the earth is at the middle and then there's this dome that we're seeing here and we have already seen different uh, how all these things are placed and what they do the sun moving and the moon and the stars and all those but the earth is immovable now let's see about the ends of the earth what does the bible say about the ends of the earth what does it say in the book of isaiah 41 8 isaiah Isaiah 41 verses 8, if I'm not wrong, yes. Uh -huh. But thou, Israel, are my servant. Israel, you're my servant. Jacob, whom I've chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. From the ends of the earth. You see, of course the ends where Abraham was chosen was not in the water. It is from these ends, from this end of the earth, you know, taken to the other end, you know, from one end to another. So it means the earth is flat, is flat down here. And uh, there is only, you know, it's, it's, it's a, I may call it flat with the, you know, mountains and things and things and things like that. But uh, it's not what people, they try to say is a, is a sphere. No, it's not. Daniel 4.11, let's see about this. Daniel 4.11, see about this. The tree grew. And was strong, and the head height thereof reached unto heaven, and the side thereof to the end of the earth. The Bible speaks about the end of the earth. We had read about this. The ends of the earth. So the tree was going all the way to these ends of the earth. To these ends. You see, there is an end and there is an end. And after the end of the earth, what happens? There is waters and there is waters. So this earth is standalone. In the waters because God said let the let their let dry land appear from the waters that's how powerful God is the ends of the earth let's see Matthew 12 42 Matthew 12 42 see what the Bible says about this the Queen of the South have you watched a movie called the Queen of the South they're trying to imitate this <laughs> the Bible the queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the outermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here. There is one greater than Solomon who is going to come. So she came from one end of the earth to another side. Meaning, there's an end, there's corners, you know, there are, you know, there's one end and another end. The Bible is very true about this. Now, we have understood that there are ends of the earth. We have understood that there, you know, there are uh, all that. I don't know if you have read about waters below. Yes, we have read about waters below. Now, let's see, how is the underworld like? What does the Bible say? Is there a, an underworld? You know, there are people who are saying, no, there's nothing below us there's no underworld down there no there is an underworld there's another world which is down here below you below your feet the bible says in philippians 2 10 philippians 2 10 philippians 2 verses 10 see what the bible says about the underworld that the name that at the name of jesus every knee should bow 
of things in heaven, things high above, things in the earth, and things under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So everything which is high in the heavens, you know, there are angels, there are, you know, all those kind of uh, things that we are told, the cherubims and all, in, in heaven. And also here, we also have uh, the fallen angels. Most of them, they are living here in the skies. That's why the Bible says, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities in the high places, high places in the skies. The fallen angels, many of them, they are living here. Okay? And here we have human beings on the earth. Here and also flying here with aeroplanes. And under the world, underworld, there are also other beings. You remember those uh, fallen angels which, uh, you know, they came into the daughters of men in Genesis. And they mixed their seed with the seed of man. And uh, they were destroyed. They were destroyed by God and they were sent down to hell. In a place called Tartarus, where they are chained here until that day, they are still living here. And of course, there are others, and also I believe hell is down here. There's an underworld down here. And let's see what the Bible says about Revelation 5 3. Revelation 5 3. Revelation 5, verses 3. It also explains to us about the underworld. And no man in heaven nor in earth. Neither under the earth, you see, under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. So, there is no man in heaven or earth, neither under the earth, that is able to open the book, neither to look, to look thereon. But of course, we know there is one man who can be able to do that, that is Jesus Christ. So, we are told there is, you know, there is people here, there are creatures here, created beings who are here, under the the world okay and also we can see 513 513 let's uh, check down here 13 and every creature which is in heaven okay heaven high above and on the earth where we're living and under the earth such as are in the sea and all that uh, that are in them had I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that seated upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. So every creature in heaven, in this one here, in the earth, the here, underworld, everywhere. Of course, that time, those who are in the in the second heaven will have been cast to the earth. That is Satan and his and his angels will have been cast down here to the earth. So there will be nothing here. Okay, there'll be nothing here in this uh, time after the rapture has happened. Okay, they'll be cast down. So it will be in the heavens and the earth and underworld and they'll have to confess that Jesus is Lord. You see what science has been lying to you? You see why science has been lying to you and why you need to believe that God be true and every man be a liar. Believe the Bible. Now, let's see about the foundations of the earth. The foundations of the earth have been mentioned about 25 times. And of course, the ends of the earth are mentioned over 50 times. Okay? These are just some of verses to uh, help us to understand. So, foundations of the earth. Let's see what the Bible says. 1 Samuel 2, 9. 1 Samuel 2, verses 9. 1 Samuel 2, 9. It tells us, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. Where is the uttermost darkness? Down here. In the foundations. Here, down here. Here, down in these foundations is where we have the tall darkness. In the darkness, down there. Now, let's see Job 38, 4. Job 38, verses 4. Job 38, 4. It says... Where was, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if you have understanding. God is telling Job, where were you when I was laying the foundations of the earth? Declare, if you know. And of course, this is in correlation with the Job was trying to listen to his friends who were trying to discourage him about why uh, uh, he's having problems. And God is answering and telling him, come on, I knew you. Even back in those days, I knew I was creating the earth for you to live here. Where were you when I was making the foundations of this earth? 
Let's see also Psalms 75 3. Psalms 75 verses 3. The earth and all inhabitants thereof are dissolved. The earth and all inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. So it means there are pillars down here. Foundations. Pillars which have been set down here. Is it making some sense? Psalms 104, 5. Psalms 104, verses 5. The Bible is so true. Who laid the foundations of the earth? Foundations, again, that should not be removed forever. So have you seen how the world look like? looks like? The world looks like this. And there is a firmament up here. And the stars and the moon and the sun. They are in the firmament. And after that we have waters above and waters below. So those bunch of liars, scientists, who are telling us that they have gone out of space. Ask them. Ask them to tell you or to show you a picture of them being there and not photoshops. And that's why they went there. They can make a spaceship, as they say, to go to the, to the they can make a spaceship all the way to go to the uh, outer space. But they can't make a good camera to film, to photocopy or to, 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 to you know, take a video, take uh, photos, good photos. The only black and white, uh, full of grain kind of photos which they, they try to show those are those are liars how can you make a spaceship to go all the way here and you don't have the technology to make a camera to take a good photo because they never went anywhere they just reached here and they came back down and they did some photoshop and lied to us that they went out of space no <laughs> they went nowhere because the bible tells us that the sun and the moon and the stars they are in this firmament and we cannot get in here nobody can get in here we're enclosed here, my friends. Only the Son of Man will come and roll this out like a cloth. And it will come shining down. And if you're not ready for him, he's coming very soon. Please be saved. Please be saved. Remember, Christ, he laid his life for you so that you can be saved. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Go and check how Christ laid his life for you. So that you can be saved. And if you believe that, you will be saved. You will be saved, my friends. And of course, it's good to believe the Bible. Believe the Bible. Read the Bible. Understand. And if this video has been a blessing to you, please give it a thumbs up. And also, you can share the video to other people so that they can be able to learn. And also, you can uh, subscribe so that you can watch more videos that I post every day. I'm going to link a, a, a video here down at the description of... Uh, of uh, Shaking My Head's production, where they have spoken about this in details, in details, and they'll show you proof that definitely nobody has ever gone out from here. Let those, uh, those liars keep on lying, but we have the truth. The truth is found in God and God only. God bless you, and have a blessed time.